My son brought this home to me. And he said, Hey, Mom, see what you can do with this. It's the face of a guitar. There's no neck. The wires are hanging like crazy. And this is the only other piece that he gave me. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the wires off and clean it. And I have an idea for it. I'm not quite sure if it's going to work, but we'll see. Okay, I got it cleaned. And I got out my sanding block. And I don't know if you can see the edges of that, but it's pretty nasty. So I'm just going to sand this smooth. Okay, and I'm going to paint these little bits here and there with some, I guess I'll try gloss. I don't know if it'll be too bright, but I'm going to try some gloss paint on there and see if it works. And this is my little sanding block. It's called a sanding sponge. And I keep this in my craft room just for smoothing stuff out. No, well, I couldn't find my gloss black. Can't remember if that's one of the ones that needed purged or not. But I did have this metallic sequin black by Folk Art. And it's doing a pretty good job covering up the wood. And I'm just going to give it a coat of this paint. Just to cover up everything, make it match. And it really covers the wood nicely. One coat. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay, there's one coat of the black metallic. And I cannot believe that that covered bare wood with one coat. So we're going to let that dry and I'm going on to the body. Okay, now I'm going to have to paint in here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. This part here can be painted black. I'm going to try a royal blue Sharpie and see if that fills that in. And we'll see. I used a blue Sharpie and I filled in the little holes or the little scratches. And I took a cotton swab with some alcohol on it and wiped over it. And it lightened it up where it's really hard to see. So, we got that done. Now I gotta glue the neck on and figure out what else to do with this. Okay, I decided that since this is wood, I'm gonna use some wood glue. And I'm probably using way too much. And I'm just going to smooth it out with a popsicle stick. I'm not going to let it go to the edges. Because when I tighten it up, I'm expecting the glue to go sliding. And once I clamp this down, I'm going to let it sit overnight. 
so that it dries. Oops. Okay, hey, this is all dry. And I did have to come back in a couple times and wipe with a wet paper towel the glue that was seeping out on the sides. I can take this off and I measured the circle and the actual circle is three inches and I needed something to go behind that for what I have in mind so I found this seven inch wood circle at Walmart so what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to paint it black, and I'm going to drill a hole in the center. I've been having a really hard time getting this sticker up, so I got out my goo gone and soaked it pretty good, and helping it along just a little bit with a spatula or whatever you call this. So we'll be back when I get that done putty knife. Took me a minute. I did a really good job getting this off, although it took a while. And I'm keeping this as flat as I can so I don't gouge the wood. Okay, all the sticker is finally off. Okay, now I need to find the center. And the easiest way that I know how to do this is to take a piece of paper and a pencil. And just trace around it. Okay, I'm going to cut this out. Now I'm going to fold this in quarters. And I'm just going to cut that corner off. And when you open it back up, 
and you line the paper up with the circle. There's your center. So I'm going to drill this and since it is one o'clock in the morning I think I'll do it tomorrow because I don't want to wake everybody up. And I have to drill this hole big enough for the clockworks to go through. And I'm using a longer shaft because I want the hands to be able to go over the neck that is raised. So we'll be back when I can get this drilled without waking anyone up. Okay, I got the hole drilled in the center and I actually had to use a paddle bit. I kept going small and bigger and bigger and bigger and I still couldn't get it big enough. So I found the paddle bit, got it cut. Um, it's a little big but it'll work. So now I'm going to give it a coat of the metallic black and I'm going to do it on both sides. And I'll be back when I'm done with that. Well, I got the circle all done. And then I turned it over. Wish I'd have done this in the first place. It has these wooden ledges. And I tried real hard to get it off, and I can't. So I needed something to go in between that so I found a piece of wood in my stash this is actually a plaque that was by plaid and I used the paddle bit to get the hole big enough and to find the center I did the same as usual I traced it and then I folded it in quarters and clipped the corner And there's the center. But that will fit in there. So I have to paint this black and then glue it. Okay, everything's dry. I decided to paint the back so that it wasn't so garish. And now I'm just going to glue this into here. I've got to be careful to make sure it gets right in the center. So that's in the center. Or at least that looks in the center. And since it's hard to see from the front, I'm taking a pencil. And just marking where this has to go and you can see where it is now I'm going to add a ton of glue And of course I don't want to get too close to the center because I don't want the glue showing through. And I'm just going to place it along the lines. And press. And I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, and then we'll get started adding the clock. When you get these clockwork um, kits, they show you how to put it in. So I'm just going to follow the directions and put it together. And the first thing you do is put the rubber washer 
on the clockworks. I want this on the top. Okay, the clock works is in, battery's in. There's the back. And there's a place to hang it right here. And I cannot wait to see the look on my son's face Christmas morning when he gets this. I don't know if it's going to be used in his room or if He's going to take it to the studio, but he does now have a clock. I chose not to put the letters on just because I didn't want this hitting, and I thought it would distract from the actual guitar. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating, everyone.